Hello Year 3, it's Mr Howell here. Welcome to a short phonics video for today. We're going to be looking at our owl sound and as you can see there are two graphemes that we're going to be looking at for the owl sound today. In a moment we're going to have a look at some words that you might be familiar with that have got our owl sound in and I want you to say the word with me. I'm going to say the word twice, once so that you can hear it, and then I want you to say it again and repeat the word. Cow. Cow. Clown. Clown. House. House. Brown. Brown. Cloud. Cloud, crown, crown, mouse, mouse, now, now, gown, gown. So now we're going to build some words. We've got three words that we're going to build in total, and then we've got some tasks for you to do. These are the sounds that we need to build the word crowd, crowd. I wonder if maybe you can pause the video here and see if you can build the word crowd by yourself. Hopefully you've managed to get it. We're going to see if we can do this together. So as you see the sound move down onto our lines, I want you to say the sound with me. Er, ow, d, and then we're going to say the sounds and read the word. K, er, ow, d, crowd. Excellent, well done. These are the sounds we need to build the word mouth. Mouth. I wonder if you can pause the video again and build the word mouth for me. Hopefully you've had a chance to have a go at building the word mouth. Remember, we're going to pull the words down and I want you to say the sound as you see the letter move. Mm. Ow. And we're going to say the sounds and read the word. Mm. Ow, mouth. Well done, year three. One more word that we're going to look at. These are the sounds we need to build the word town. Town. I wonder if you can pause the video once more and use these sounds to build the word town. Let's have a look together and see if you got the same word and the sounds in the right order. Remember, say the sounds as you move them down. T, ow, n. And we're going to say the sounds and read the word. T, ow, n, town. Well done, year three. Your next activity is going to be to look at our sounds grid and the words that we've just looked at, I want you to see if you can write them in the correct way that our owl sound is spelt. How is our owl sound spelt in the words that we've just looked at? Can you remember what the words were? That's right, our words were crowd mouth and town. Can you see if you can remember how to spell the owl sound and write it underneath the correct grapheme? Hopefully you've had a chance to do that and we're going to have a look together and see where you wrote the first word crowd 
which side did you write it in? Hopefully you've written it in this side here because it has got our O-W spelling of our owl sound. Crowd, crowd. And our next word was mouth. And hopefully you've written that on this side over here. Mouth. It's a little bit neater than my crowd. I do apologize for my D. There we go, mouth. And then our last one, town. Town. And our spelling of, oh, do you know what, year three? That's not right, is it? Ah, oh, Mr. Howell's made a mistake here. Hold on. That's, I can just tell by looking at it. I'm sure you didn't make the same mistake that I did. It's going to be this one over here, isn't it? Is that right? Fantastic. Well done, year three. So our words were crowd, mouth and town. Practice those words and think about the owl sound in each of those words. I wonder if you can finish these sentences for me using the correct word from the three words that we've just built to finish the sentence correctly. It was a big where lots of people lived. Which word do we think is going to go in that sentence? Could it be mouth? It was a big mouth where people lived. I don't think so. That doesn't make sense, does it? It would be good for a silly sentence. It's going to be town. Fantastic. Well done. Town. Town. And our next sentence. There was a big watching the football game. Well, we've only got two words left, haven't we? You're right, I think it's going to be crowd. And let's see if I can write this D a little bit neater this time. Not that my uh, C's gone that well. Crowd, crowd, and I'm gonna underline that owl sound in each of those words, just to remind me what the sound is that we're looking at today. And my last one, you have to open your, when you go to the dentist. And that is going to be mouth, mouth. Excellent. And once again, I'm just going to underline our owl sound. And then we're going to read these sentences now that they're complete and make sure that we're saying our owl sound correctly. It was a big town where lots of people lived. There was a big crowd watching the football game. You have to open your mouth when you go to the dentist. Excellent year three and I hope you were saying those sentences with me. Well done. So you've got a few short tasks to do for today. You need to write down the words and underline the owl spelling, whether that's O-W or O-U that makes that owl sound. And I want you to see if you can then make sure that you underline that spelling in it. Write down as many words as you can think of that have the same sound in them. So see if you can have a look around your house or maybe outside and see if you can have a think about what objects or items you can see that might have that owl sound in and think about which spelling it might be. And then your last task is to write some silly sentences using some of the words we have looked at today. There's also a link on this video for you to follow and I'll put it in the description as well for you to click on. And that's got a game that you can play where you can test your owl spellings in words. Thank you very much for watching this year three. If you have got any work that you can't upload onto Teams and you want to email it to us, you can email it to us at the address year three at ssjs.co.uk. See you soon.